Hello everybody, I'm Chantal. I'm Cody. This is unit one of volume 23, Q-pop. All right, I know it sounds very interesting. <laughs> Not K-pop. All right, but uh, yes, I think around the world at the moment, people are very curious, interested, and I think big fans or becoming big mm -hmm. fans of handsome young Asian men with slick dance moves and <laughs> catchy songs. And usually when we, when we hear this description or we think of this type of description, we envision a Korean group. Slick. Slick. Envision. Envision. But this article or this unit is actually not about a Korean group, but a group from Kazakhstan. Mm. All right. And that's why K-pop, Q-pop, actually, not mm. K-pop, Q-pop. Yes. <laughs> and yes, so these young men, um, they are loosely following the Korean style of K-pop, but uh, they are doing it in a, in a more unique way. Many of their fans have asked them, why don't they just sing in English or in Russian? But they are specifically focused on singing in Kazakh language because they want to, and you know, I think they want to highlight the language and they really want to encourage people in the country to speak more of the language. A little bit of background on that is Kazakhstan used to be um, a Soviet, you know, country under Russia. So most of the people speak Russian. Apparently, I think, yes, there are many people who cannot speak the actual local language of Kazakh. And this is a distant cousin of the Turkish language. So these young men, uh, you know, maybe they'll become rich and famous, but in a way they also have a bit of a good mission behind all of this. They have a love for their own language and they want to highlight that. Mm -hmm. Distant cousin. Distant cousin. How often do you listen to K-pop? Very infrequently. Yes. I don't listen to it alone at my house, um, unless I have some like pop playlist that's cycling. Yes. And maybe there's a K-pop song. Right. Uh, but mostly like on trips with my girlfriend or hanging out with friends. Mm. And then if you're walking around so you hear it. I also, I, I never by choice listen to it. It's mm. not really my style. I'm more of an old rock person. But I will admit some songs are super catchy. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, I, wanna, I don't want to admit it, but a little bit of a Blackpink fan. Okay. Yeah. Some of the songs are really <laughs> catchy. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you ask me, I will deny it. <laughs> I see. What do you know of the country? What do you know about the country? Well, not much more than what you said. Mm. Uh, it was previously part of the Soviet region. Mm. Uh, and under USSR and yeah. I have two actually Kazakh friends oh, wow. um, you know and they they said something similar to me where almost everybody speaks mm. Russian mm. even in the capital city uh, it's majority Russian where the Kazakh language is disappearing yeah if you do speak Kazakh you're often seen as like I think they say countryside people oh, or okay. more rural people yes um, because more of the educated more of the other people uh. don't speak Kazakh <laughs> And now for the language focused. First up is admit that. For example, I admit that I spent too much money online this month. And for mine, it's nonetheless. For my example, my brother and I argue and fight a lot, but I love him nonetheless. That's it for the preview section. Please join us for the review.